It's finally here. It is basketball season. And it's at Alumni Hall. Fans coming out as men's basketball takes on Bridgeport in an exhibition. First time the fans get to see Curtis Cobb and others, and they get to see them on the new George Basaka court, dedicated and renamed after Coach Basaka, the coach that guided the Stags to their Division I promotion. You can just tell that he was touched with this dedication, and the Stags did not disappoint. They came out firing, and they were making it from long range as well. Tyler Nelson had two early threes. He would finish with six on 10 attempts. It was all stags early. They would jump out to a sizable lead. Curtis Cobb, the freshman, helping out as well. He went on a mini 4-0 run. Next thing you know, stags lead it 17-5 early on. Bridgeport, though, would fight back, for the theme of this game was the stags found a way to weather the storm. Getting the momentum back with this buzzer beater. That was Nelson again. Stags up 42-34 at the half. The Purple Knights made another comeback, but this dunk from Marcus Gilbert gave the momentum right back. He had a game-high 28. This three made a five-point game, and that lead would be extended by Jerome Segura. Sidney Johnson said he told Segura that this was his team to lead, and the fire was lit, driving in and dishing. Or scoring by himself. Segura was one of three Stags in double figures. He had 19. In the end, the Stags put up 91 points. Everyone was in this game. The bench was loud. Simply put, you had to like what you saw from the Stags as they defeat Bridgeport 91 to 80. I think we had a couple of guys injured that uh, we, we really could have used in the lineup, but they brought, like Amadou and Mike brought great energy and our bench was live and into it the whole game and that really helped us confidence-wise. You three feed off of that energy, so when the when the bench is into it, then we're into it and then, you know, everybody's engaged and then, you know, the scouting report shows up and then, you know, communication is there. And when the energy is there, you know, you just get that extra push that we need to win the game. I think the energy from the guys on the court and all of the guys on the bench, whether they were dressed for the game or they were in coat and tie for whatever reason, um, I think all of that energy indicates the type of feeling that we have for each other, how much work we've put in, and what we think about this season. Our future is tremendously bright here at Fairfield. We have a number of these guys who are just seniors, but then we have a number of underclassmen too. So this year and years moving forward are really, really bright for our program, and these guys know it. And that's what you see when you see all that energy on the court. Mm -hmm.